Fish stuff up. You gotta have socks for Christmas, and if you're gonna have socks, draw some park socks. Yes YouTube, welcome back to another video and thanks for joining me. So in today's video we're going to be finally giving my baby pet bull python a, his first meal with us anyway. So that's something interesting and make sure you stay tuned because there's plenty of other things coming up and that's all coming right after this. Okay, so we're in the second reptile fish room, but again, don't tell my fiance. But as you can see, I think he's a little bit hungry. So we had him now for a couple of weeks. In the last video, we give you a proper introduction to him and I said he was going to shed, which he did. He didn't shed in one piece, to be honest, it was quite a mess. I'm not quite used to keeping humidity in these sort of sterile setups. So I did have some uh, sphagnum moss in there, which was damp in a humid hide for him, but that wasn't quite enough. So I sprayed the tank down completely it got completely like he completely messed it up and then he managed to get all the skin off him and he's looking really really sharp now that he's shed his skin entirely but he's been cruising around like this so he finished shedding last night so i want to feed him today and as you can see he's been cruising around ever since and you look man what are you doing but he's doing really well really happy at the moment he seems generally inquisitive and friendly he doesn't seem to be aggressive in any way which you wouldn't typically expect in bull pythons to begin with but like i've mentioned in past videos this is only a temporary setup and i'm still waiting on the trim and i'll give you a bit more information on that a bit later Okay, so all we need to do now is pretty much feed him. So what I've done is these are uh, rat fuzzies. So um, all I've done is left it soak in cool water. So for about two hours and then it was soft to the touch. You could tell it wasn't frozen anymore. So all I've done now is put warm water from the tap, not boiling. And I've left it in there for 10 minutes just to warm it through, just so you can have a heat signature and find the food rather than my fingers and then we can feed him. So what I'm gonna do is take it out, because you, a lot of people put the mice in water in plastic bags, in freezer bags, and I don't really wanna do that, because I think, oh, it's just a waste of plastic bags that sound like an eco-warrior. Um, so I wanna try him with this, because one, I'll give him some extra water and hydration, if he will eat it, and two, saves on the environment. So why don't we go ahead and feed him now, and I'll rejoin you then. Okay, so he ate, but he didn't go for it the first time. So initially I just put it in some warm water for 10 minutes, like I showed you earlier, just try and heat it through, just so it's a heat source. I don't think it's hot enough. So I tried what the breeder recommended to me, was to dip um, the rat's nose in some boiling water, just so you can recognize the heat sense. And also you can smell the rat itself as well. And once I did that, he went for it. So always try and listen to what your breeders try and pass on to you. You may have kept snakes or animals like this in the past, but 
They're the ones who brought them up and they do know best. And why not follow what they do? If it works, go for it. But I'm really happy now that he's eaten, that he's shed, and he's been to the toilet. So it's all the three things that I mainly worry about when you first get a new animal. And he's done them. So I feel a bit like a proud dad for him doing a poo and eating. Mm. But he's just gone back to curl up in his hot hide now. So what we'll do, we'll head over to the rainforest room now. I got some new setups, some new equipment, some things to make these videos better and the animals' lives better. So why don't we go and check that out and rejoin you then? back at the desk and I think it feels like Christmas has already been and gone but I want to go through some of the things I had because some of the things are going to improve the quality of the videos and also improve the quality of the animals welfare so I thought I'd quickly skip through some of the things we got so first of all some of the boring stuff so new microphone the sound's been a bit off lately so I wanted to address that so I got the um, Boyer uh, lav mic and I'll leave links down in the description if you're interested in those sort of things I also got a new tripod, which is this one, k and um, which has been really good. It's got a extendable arm and it can also film from above. So if you watch the Cuban Night and All feeding video, I already put some um, overhead shots in there. So hopefully that'll be something a bit different. And I'm really dweeby about these filming sort of things. You might not find it interesting, but I do. And then, right, so fish stuff. So we had, so I got some uh, Tropica fertilizer which I haven't used before, I've always tend to use the Flourish, so I want to try a different brand. I know um, I really get on with Tropica's substrate system, so we're going to try that. And we'll probably update you on how that's going. Um, also, we've got a new API test kit, so obviously for water parameters, blah, 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 blah. And I'm keen to try and do some more starter. Well, people who are new to the fish hobby and um, videos and some demonstrations and you know the bare basic stuff so hopefully that will help with that. Now this is something I've never used before so you'll see why I bought this in a sec. So this is the Dua Terra Tape. Now Dua is a, another brand uh, created by ADA. Now they do a lot more of sort of terrascaping, terrariums as well as axescaping as well but this tape might look a bit boring, it's like, well, what a rubbish present, some tape. But this is really good because you can wrap it around. So say you're gonna have a water set up with branches coming at the top and you want to add moss on those branches. Well, you can wrap this tape around those branches and a little bit stays in the water and it absorbs all of the tape and keeps your moss alive. So you can see why I want that, amazing. We'll give that a go and you'll see where I'm gonna use that in a minute because I have got a new setup for Christmas. So, as well, what have we got here? I haven't unboxed this yet. So, ah, I know. So this is from Aquascape. You've probably heard me talk about Aquascape before. I've got some of the glassware, as well as, what else have I got? No, that's it. We've got some lily pipes, and we've got some diffusers and things like that. So I really like the Aquascaping kit, and my girl, my fiance rather, oops, um, wanted to get me something from them. And they're a really good company. Make sure you support these new axecaping companies, reptile companies, because they keep our hobby alive. So, these are some curved trimming scissors. Might seem boring to you, but makes trimming the carpet, the carpeting plants a lot easier. As you can see, hold it like that. And go along the carpet. Amazing, so I definitely need to get some trimming done on the ADA 45P very soon. So we'll definitely use these so thank you for that Axcape and my fiance and also if you want to go and check out Axcape um, website as I said they're new they do a lot of Axcaping um, equipment, glassware, scaping materials things like that I'll leave a link down in the description you can also use my discount code Johns5Off to get 5% off your first purchase so I'll leave that down in the description so we're getting more fish things I think that was it fish stuff up oh, you gotta have socks for Christmas and if you're gonna have socks Jurassic Park socks. Um, okay, so we've got another Jungle Dawn. So this is the 15 watt. Now I think this is what? 
I go almost 30 centimeters. Yeah, it's 11 and a half inches. So this is going to go into Castro's tank. I want to help um, create a better light spectrum for her as well as then help the plants grow. So we'll be installing that at some point and we'll do updates on the progression of the plants. Um, as well, now this. I got a monsoon. Now I say that like that because I had a monsoon in the past. I had the larger one where when I used to keep red eyed tree frogs and I only used to keep red eyed tree frogs back then. Um, I loved it, it was great. I say that, there's two parts to this. So I did really like it, it was a great product, so easy to use, not intimidating at all. If you're new to the hobby, then some things can put you off. It's a bit like aquariums and CO2, some people get put off by high tech. But this is such an easy unit to use, it would make sense that it'd probably be the best one on the market. But it used to have an issue. So I remember coming home from holiday once and the whole system emptied out into my ex into an exo territorial and completely flooded it because now I think they used to have a seal issue on it where you used to where you used to top the water back up. It used to leak into the actual mechanics and then used to cause the system to malfunction. But I believe they meant to have fixed this problem. And I wanted to get one to try it. One, it was free, it's for Christmas, thank you fiance. And two, I really liked it. It's so easy to use, whereas a misking system I would say is better performing than this. But the monsoon is so easy to use, whereas the the get your words out. So the um, misking system you've got at find your own reservoir, you've got to add the, um, the bulkheads on there, you've then got to set it up. It's not quite easy to set the timer up either, I think there's like one video on YouTube how to do it and I may do one on that at some point. Um, so it isn't the most straightforward, once you have got it working it is amazing. I'm not going to say this is better than the uh, Miss King because it's not, but if this worked properly this would be the easiest thing to use ever, it would be so simple, there's a couple of little dials, you set it how long you want the timer on for, how many times you want it to come on for. You set it and that is it, and it goes. So I'm hoping they have fixed the problem, um, and this is from Exo Terra, so I'm hoping they have fixed the problem because I'd really like to have one and if to work properly. So we're gonna set this up on Castro Tank in another video, and hopefully they have. So for those of you who thought I'd call for Christmas, I didn't. I asked for some microscaping rocks, which some people probably find weird. I know my fiance certainly did, but I, I'm trying to gather quite a selection of hardscape at the moment just because um, I'm gonna, I know I'm gonna have the rack to do at some point. We got the 30C and I know a lot of people have been asking about the 30C. I'm gonna be um, pulling the tank out of there to put in an open space so I can start to scape it. I'll be doing the hardscape this week, ordering the plans and hopefully get that done. What I am gonna do though, I'm gonna let it grow in for a couple of weeks and release it as one video rather than a series. So it could be available in the next couple of weeks. So. I'm hoping you'll stay patient and stick around for that. Um, and with so many tanks for escape, it's nice to have a lot of materials to choose from because you tend to choose the materials and design the escape around the materials rather than the other way around. So, well, that's how I do it anyway. So we've got quite a nice selection of stone. I think it's black north rock. Um, and I think this is the rock that I'm going to use in the 30C. We've got quite a big variety. So really happy with that. I think it was only five kilograms, but that would probably be enough for the 30C. So, but the best present, last but not least, So, this is the latest, um, well, I'll say enclosure. It's only a small thing, it's gonna go on the windowsill there and hopefully be a nice backdrop for the windowsill and try and cover up nothingness. So this is the Dua Terra, I think it is, ah, right, let's work up the word. So I think it's 30 by 18 by 10 centimeters, I think. It's only shallow and obviously I'm probably gonna do a water sort of up to here and then probably have something sticking out and use the Terra tape. Uh, some um, terrestrial plants or some aquatic plants and I might put some snails in there I'm not really gonna put fish in there let's be fair it's probably not big enough for fish 
So that'll just look nice and we'll have a no filter, low tech setup there. Um, if you're interested in that, then make sure you hit the subscribe button because that's going to be all coming up very soon. But I just want to say a massive thanks for checking out today's video. I want to get a quick update on the ball python. Obviously it's first feeding, amazing. I'm really excited to obviously start to see him progress now. He's obviously shared, he's eaten, he's gone to the toilet. So I'm generally happy with how he's going. Um, obviously I want to get a setup set up for him. I literally just have an email back from the company now who are, well, asked for another load of pictures of the broken part, which we've already got, but they're in the process of sending another one. So it's taken forever. I think I ordered it back in October and we're in January 2021 and it's all going. But that is going to be one of the next projects on the go. I am going to be looking to get the ADA racking system put in because I want a nice wooden piece of furniture and I'm probably going to get a professional in to do that. So it's going to be quite expensive. Some of the other projects are probably going to go on hold for the time being while we get that because once that's in, we've got three or four 60p tanks to get escape set up, new fish, experiment with different things. So once that's there, that'll be amazing and we can crack on and do all the other projects we've been talking about as well. Obviously we've got a list of stuff to do now with adding all these extra um, bits of equipment to the um, existing enclosures, so make sure you're around for that. Also, um, the new ball python merch, so you can see the royal python there, that's available in my store, designed and sold by myself, and as always, any of the proceeds or any of the money through towards this channel goes back into making these videos even better and the animals' lives even better. And as you can see, my Christmas list was the same. So. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, we will be looking to do, I'm, one of the next videos I want to do is the fire bellies rescape because once I've done that, I'm holding plants for that tank in the 30C. Once the plants are in there, we can do the 30C and start moving forward. So if you're not yet already subscribed to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. As always, for those, those loyal regular viewers, you've been dropping that thumbs up, leave me a comment, show you if you've been enjoying this sort of content, and allows me to make more videos like these. But I think that's enough of me walking on for one day. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video today, and I'll see you in the next one.